No, listen, we had a lot of things still to do in the squad. Uh, you see the amount of departures comparing to the uh, players that we have recruited. Uh, the club has done again a phenomenal job and put everything on the table to try to bring the players and in the profiles that we wanted. Adam, we've done business pretty early, uh, but unfortunately in the last 72 hours, uh, Thomas got injured uh, in the same place that uh, he was injured last time and, uh, and then Mo has a long-term injury. And then we had to react in the market and uh, we tried, but at the end of the day we have to, to bring the player that we feel is the right player for the team and as well for the club and, um, and we didn't manage to do that. It's the team that we have and for me it's the best squad and the best players that I have uh, available. There's nothing else we can do. Uh, we have an academy as well. That, uh, that we have to use and try to utilize the players uh, the best possible way. I think we have learned a lot from that and look at still the players that, um, that we have to get out. Um, we only have to bring top talent, top quality people through that door uh, and be very disciplined. And in those moments you can make huge mistakes that can cost the club and the team uh, a lot, not in the near future, but maybe a little bit ahead and we want to avoid that as much as possible. Well, when you look at the squad that they have, uh, the players that they signed, the amount of money they have spent in the market, I'm not surprised they're going to win a lot of football matches. Um, and Manchester United history tells you that this is going to happen. So it's another big rival. We know that and we need to compete with them. Thank you very much. James from Sky. Hi, Mikael. Hello. It seems that the club were pushing quite hard to bring in a midfielder yesterday. What was your take on the way things played out in the end? We push to uh, strengthen the team and bring the, the best um, possible people and players into this football club. And uh, we have managed to a certain level and, uh, and then we have our limitation. Time was a big limitation uh, with what happens in the last 72 hours in, in our midfield. And, and we tried to act, uh, but we didn't find the right player. Yeah, he called me really late last night um, and that was more a conversation like the conversation we used to have when we were teammates and really good friends. Um, take the coaching and the player situation a little bit away and, um, and get back into that relationship as well. Um, I love the kid. Um, I love what he's done for the club. He's uh, someone that uh, I really, really have a strong feelings about him and I wish him because I know it's one of his dreams to play there. Uh, hopefully he can fulfill his dream and, and get back his career uh, where he can because he's still very young and, and has a lot to do. That, that's not something new. We've done it. Uh, we have to do it again and we have to believe from today, uh, from yesterday, straight after the game, that um, that we are capable of going there, play our way and win the match. Well, I hope we do. I hope we can play still really well with, with many other players uh, and as well just to put a finger on something to lose a football match is not something the, that I do to analyze the, a performance. I always say that the market doesn't lie. Uh, was when a player comes and says that I have to do that and I, I am here and I am there, it's very simple. Go in the market and the other teams, the other coaches, they're going to tell you how good you are, what your value is, what you've done. And uh, we have to try to obviously get uh, everything we can get done and sometimes you have to get the, the right balance. and. Um, Hopefully we're going to be in a very different position very soon.